Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu. You guys are terrible at this game. I'm sorry. You need to keep playing and practice, okay? So today we're going to be making a Jigglypuff cake. Jigglypuff is one of the first divas I ever watched on TV. She wields that super small microphone marker. I don't know, does something like that actually exist? And she just slays everybody to sleep, she does. I'm a huge Jigglypuff fan, so let's get started. Now I've created this cake using two six inch dome cakes. I'm using strawberry because she's pink and strawberry cake is pink. Is that the only reason? <laughs> I'm just going to level these off and then fill them with some buttercream. Place the second one on top and this is gonna go into the fridge for about two hours. And that's because circular cakes are like extremely hard to work with when they are not chill. Dude, this cake has like no chill. After I took it out of the fridge, I covered it with a crumb coat to make sure that none of these crumbs appear on the final layer of butter frosting fondant. There's the word. Now back into the fridge again. And then I took it out and I placed a little bit of water on my hands and just rubbed it onto the cake just to make sure that the buttercream is smooth all the way around. So there won't be any lumps when I place on the layer of fondant. You can also add another layer of buttercream. I know, gosh, some of you guys are so judgmental about me not putting another layer, but God, only God can judge me. All right. Leave me alone. Or catch me outside. Which one? Which one do you want, huh? Leave me alone and catch me outside. Late at night, I just watch a lot of World Star Hip Hop videos. <laughs> After I did that, I rolled out a very, very large piece of pink fondant, enough to cover the entire Jigglypuff cake. Now working fast, I kind of just took my hands and smoothened out the entire cake. Just making sure I was working the fondant all the way down and this was when I realized that I hate working with dome cakes and fondant. It's terrible, it's so hard. And most of the footage is just my elbows. You know, I was getting so pissed off, you guys. At the bottom, there's less cake surface, but then you have all this fondant like left over. What do you do with it? I don't know, I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> when I did finish, there were some cracks on the bottom, but I was over it. I'll take the B minus or the C plus, whatever you want to give me, I'll take it, I don't care. Now we're gonna create all of Jigglypuff's stuff. Accents, no, that's not the word. Decorations, features. There we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is her poof. I just created an oval shape and I took some fondant tools to create the curl. And I'm just cutting into the fondant to get the perfect shape. Now the inside of this is actually gonna look like trash, but again, it's the inside of it, so nobody will ever know. As long as the outside looks like the shape of Jigglypuff's poof, you're good. And I cut away the excess on the bottom with a pair of scissors and just smoothened out the top with my hands. Now to create her ears, I'm rolling out some fondant, probably about a fourth of an inch thick, and I'm going to cut them into two equal triangles. Now I'm rolling out some black fondant super thin to give her ears some details. I'm just gonna cut them into two smaller triangles and apply them to the ears with a little bit of vodka. Cut off the excess if you need to, and then repeat that process with the second ear. Now for her eyes and mouth, I'm rolling out a lot of different colors of fondant, super thin, and just leaving them out to dry for about two hours, which will make them so much easier to work with. I've got three different size cookie cutters for her eyes. The largest one is gonna be for the white of her eyes. Now this is just a little bit smaller than the white, and I'm gonna use this to cut out some baby blue fondant. Using the exact same size with some indigo fondant, but I'm not cutting out complete circles. I'm creating a sort of like a jewel shape more like an eye shape. So when I place this on top of the baby blue, the baby blue will be peeking through just a little bit. I also needed a little bit more white fondant to get the catch light, which actually makes her eyes look like they're sparkling. And notice that the baby blue isn't centered in the middle of the white. It's off quite a bit just to make sure that these eyes have a little bit of character. Uh, now when you put this on the cake, it'll just make it look like she's looking up. Most people look down, but no, she's looking up. 
She dreaming big. The indigo and the cat's light are gonna be placed on in the exact same direction. Now it's time to work on her mouth. I'm using some pink fondant to create her tongue and I'm just creating a rounded shape. I'm gonna attach that to some red fondant with a little bit of vodka and cut out sort of like a happy D, a curved smiley D shape. Now for her feet, I'm rolling out two oval shapes. They kind of look like pebbles. For her hands, I'm rolling out what kind of looks like earplugs. Yeah, they look kind of like that. Once you finish that, we can take all of our pieces and apply them to our cake. I really like Jigglypuff on the television show. She's like a brilliant psychopath. <laughs> She's also a big diva. She throws tantrums like ain't nobody has ever seen before. But as much as I loved her on TV, I loved her even more on Super Smash Brothers. She was one of my favorite characters to play, her and Link. I loved how they animated her. I love how she flew, how she threw punches. I loved when you use the ability Sing, she could actually put you in this paralyzing sleep or just kill you. Now Jigglypuff is a fairy type and I wanted her to be sitting on like a fairy cloud. And you know what that means, coconut shavings. <laughs> I just put on some cocoa and shavings onto the bottom of the cake and added some white gumballs to give it a little bit more detail. Um, and it also distracts from the cracks on the bottom of this cake. I fixed it. A plus. Yeah, I'm really happy with this cake. I'm probably even more happy because I was so pissed off <laughs> while I was making it. But I love her and I think I did her justice. Now if you don't know this already, Jigglypuff was one of the reasons I started baking on YouTube. I created some Pokemon cakes and I was testing out what they would look like on camera and then I decided to do tutorials. So this was freshman year, 2014, I think. And this is senior year, 2017. Yo, I need deeper pockets because there's a whole lot of change. Now, if you want to see more Pokemon cakes, I created this Snorlax cake, which also has a freshman and senior year picture. I also have an entire Pokemon playlist for you at the end or in the description box. Now, I'm curious, if we were playing Super Smash Brothers together and I picked Jigglypuff, who would you pick? Doesn't really matter though, cause I'll beat you. I'll put money on that. And make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see everything I post in real time. Progress shots of cakes, yeah, oh my gosh. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you very soon. Bye.